Hi, I'm glad you've joined us for step 11 of Vehicle Emissions Diagnostics, performing a cylinder balance test. Tim Hill of the Teneco and Walker sales team is going to explain the purpose of this test and give us some tips on how to spot problems. Thanks, Sadine. A cylinder balance test is sometimes also known as a cylinder contribution test. Essentially, we use this test to check if each of the engine cylinders is contributing equally to the power being generated. If we can identify a cylinder that's not doing its job, perhaps due to a low compression or weak spark, we might have found the reason for the high emissions. There's two ways to perform this test. With a very expensive scan tool like this, or by shutting down one cylinder at a time by disconnecting the fuel injector. Well, let's do it the old-fashioned way. All right, let's start with the four-cylinder engine where we've disconnected the idle air controller and fixed the throttle so that it's idling at 1,000 RPM. Now we disconnect the electrical connection to the injector on one cylinder. The RPM should fall to around 750 if that cylinder was doing its full job. If the RPM drops only 50 or 100 RPM, then you know you've got a problem with that cylinder. It might be caused by a clogged injector, poor spark, or a lack of compression. Particularly in the case of a weak spark or low compression, the air and fuel that's not being burned in the cylinder is passing into the exhaust stream and causing high emissions. If you allow this to continue, you might end up having to replace your converter, which will overheat and melt the substrate. Now reconnect the injector and repeat the test at each of the remaining cylinders, noting the drop in RPMs for each. If possible, perform this test a second time at around 2,000 RPM. A fuel injector that's partially clogged might still work properly at idle, but not at a higher level. Remember, cylinders with a low drop in RPMs are typically the ones causing the emission issue. Great information, Tim. Thanks for your help. And thank you once again for joining us. Step 12 is coming up in our next program. Thank you.